Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate. Today I'm going to share with you the newly completed Fruit and Flora album from Graphic 45. So I just finished this up today, so I'm very anxious to show it to you. So let's get started. I'm going to go over a couple of the elements on the cover. So first of all, I'm going to point out the hardware. Oops, and it looks like I lost one of my dots here. I think I forgot to put a drop of glue on it. This is one of the flat back uh, pearls, and I can tell I didn't even glue this one down. From Graphic 45, which I am gonna um, put down uh, with some glue, the tape is just not strong enough, especially on the metal. Um, so this is the door um, plate with the knobs. Um, this is uh, the butterfly that comes as part of the, the die kit, die cuts in the uh, bundle. Here's a piece of the chipboard. These are two fussy cut um, elements. This is from um, an ephemera journaling card and this is from the 8x8 collection pack. There's a cut apart page in there and this is a cut apart from there. Here I fussy cut um, just some uh, flower floral elements and then I I sort of just waved this one just to give it some interest so it's not just flat. And this one I backed with some chipboard and popped up off the um, the pair here. The pear also has been double cut and is popped. It's difficult to see that, um, I know, in the video, but um, it looks really quite pretty um, in person. So this is from the signature page of the 12 by 12 collection. And it is resting on top of um, the full ephemera piece from the signature page of the 12 by 12 collection. And then this is just um, a piece of coordinating um, designer cardstock here. And then I did the same thing here. So I um, sort of double, triple matted this. On the side, I used one of the die cuts out of um, the collection pack to sort of emphasize the area where I've um, added my charms. And if you buy your bundles from us, we always send you some coordinating charms. These are some of the charms that we have. They may be substituted at any time, depending on demand. And this was just for my stash. And it's all being held together with the Tim Holtz jump ring. And then this is part of the signature page as well. And I fussy cut this originally with the intent of putting it on the cover, but it was just too busy. Um, so then I decided to go ahead and put it on the back. It wasn't enough all by itself for the cover. Um, and when I tried to lay it over the um, pair, I just wasn't happy with the look. So it's, it's here on the back. It is um, popped up with some foam tape in this case. Okay, so that's the cover, the spine in the back. Let's Let's get started with what's inside. Oh, and there's a couple of filigree pieces here on the cover. So again, if you buy your bundles from us, we're going to send you some coordinating charms and some filigree to go with it. Okay, on the inside cover and also the back cover, um, it looks like I should have dusted this. Um, I've got these deep pockets, so they're both on the front and the back, and then there's a large photo mat. And I took the time to go ahead and paper back um, everything, just so you know that you're gonna have enough paper really to cover everything in this book and even the, um, the elements that come pop out. Here I'm featuring two ephemera cards, one horizontal, one vertical. And on the flip side is just the same uh, journaling card. It's the back side of it. And here I decided to use some designer paper. This is one of the die cuts that comes in the collection pack and it's a clock with this beautiful scroll on it. And I actually just cut it in half because <laughs> I like the way it looked and I left it open-ended so you could slightly stash your photo behind it. There we go. And then this whole thing opens. And in here I've got, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to back this one. I've got um, a large journaling uh, ephemera card and one of the smaller ones. And then I just put the, um, just made this a bifold. So this slips right into the pockets here. And I'm gonna leave this out just so I can show you um, which areas are open-ended. Okay, that's page one. And then there's a nice large insert, which I was able to put um, paper on both sides. Sometimes I run a little short. Okay, so this is page two and three, another um, journaling ephemera card. And this is a journaling ephemera card. And then uh, basically the flip side is what's laying on the inside. This opens up, left and right. Right here I'm featuring uh, two pieces from the die cut set that comes um, as part of the bundle. And then again, this is a pocket here behind, behind this bifold. Okay, and I just staggered these pieces just to make it a little interesting. Actually, it goes like that. 
Okay, and page three, another journaling card. So as you can see, I really put some effort into featuring the journaling cards in this album. Okay, so you've got photo space here. You've also got these flips for uh, photos. These are all four by six, either vertical or horizontal. And this is a piece of chipboard. A nice large photo mat. Okay, page four, page five. Here we have a piece of chipboard featured. This is the front and back of one of the journaling cards. So this is the front, this is the back side, same journaling card. This opens this way. And then behind this journaling card, which I've matted, I've put some additional journaling and um, photo mats. So this is a photo mat on one side and this is a journaling card for you. And this all tucks in right behind this ephemera card. And this opens up as well. So this is a large photo spread, and this is page four. And page five is a mirror of that, so it's gonna open to the left and right, have this nice large photo space. And then also uh, tucked behind the front journaling card is um, a photo mat and then uh, a journaling space. So you've got this nice pocket to keep some memorabilia and then a lot of room here for the event itself. Another large photo mat inside of page five. Okay, page six and seven. Another um, journaling card. Like I said, I really put some effort into trying to feature those throughout. They're always so beautiful and I, I liked the way this looks as a design and so the intent is you, you could leave this intact and your photo would go on the backside. Yeah, another way to look at it is this is already naturally a frame, so you could put a trim down photo inside um, what you see here as the pattern frame. So opens this way and this way. This is um, from the die cut, and these are two of the chipboard pieces. This is fussy cut from the 12 by 12 collection pack. I just really like this one. Um, the purple pulls this purple back in, it was just gorgeous. Okay, there's more of that beautiful plaid. This is from the 12 by 12. It's another journaling card. And a bifold card. And actually this pocket will hold something quite a bit wider if you wanna put something else in there. Okay, another large photo mat in the insert. And then here's our last page, which is um, identical to page one, where I've got these two, not identical, the layout's identical, I use different papers. So we've got an ephemera journaling card that opens up, space to journal, a nice photo space here. These are just hand cut um, fishtail banners. Here's the second half of that clock that I've installed here, and it's opened back so your photo can fit slightly behind um, behind this. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I, I always have a hard time figuring out what to do with this and then I thought well I'll split it and then you get some benefit on two pay pages. Okay and then another nice large pocket here with a very large uh, photo mat uh, that's covered on both sides. So that is the new fruit and flora. I hope you guys like it. Um, I had a lot of fun putting it together. They're really beautiful. Um, colors to work with. Um, I really enjoyed working with this collection. I was a little intimidated uh, when I first saw it and it just took a little time and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. And then I really liked uh, for a change, spending a lot of time featuring some of the ephemera cards. So that's something that's a little different for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Um, if you like, please give us a thumbs up share and subscribe. Um, we really appreciate you taking time to, um, spend on our channel and if you get a chance click the show more in the description you'll find the material list for everything in this album as well as the cut list so thanks again everybody for tuning in this is Daphne from Scrap and Create we'll see you soon